What a fam! Special episode. Damn, we're loaded, man. We're loaded. We got CGC. CGC, you're your own YouTuber. You know what's pretty interesting? He developed his own cult following on YouTube. Well, I remember what I did. He started his own channel and he already almost has a thousand subscribers. Jesus. Yeah, thank you. That's crazy, man. You got a little cult following, Chris. Cult following? <laughs> Yo, and then we got the new Papa Fern. They decided, you guys decided that Papa Fern People was a go. That. We got Jarhead Josh, and then myself, as usual. We're gonna hop right into this. I think this is gonna be its own Sea Story episode, episode four? I don't know, four, Sea Story episode four. This is gonna be a Sea Story on the holidays, though. Our Sea Stories that we uh, experienced during this kind of season. <clears throat> on the carrier, they did some crazy things. They had the little ship, the destroyer, come up next to us, and they would do fire, they would uh, shoot all their guns. They would shoot all of their ammunition, you know, all the this, the guns that the destroyer and the cruisers would have for kind of like a fireworks show. Yeah, for that's us, the most expensive fireworks. Yeah, the show. most expensive. <laughs> 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 you know, funny. <laughs> they were shooting so much ordnance, you expected to see like dolphins floating up and like sea creatures, bro, yeah. out of the ocean, man. When you were doing the holidays, you were in Alaska. Yeah, we were in Kodiak. So your ship Dutch pulled Harbor. in? Yeah, we were in port. I had duty uh, Christmas and yeah, we. I mean, the, the food was pretty good. They served like yeah, but that's cool. Big feast. You're lucky though, man. For dinner and like you were on a Coast Guard ship. It was cold. So you guys can just pull into port and be like, all right, we're celebrating Christmas yeah. in uh, Alaska. <laughs> I was in Iraq for Christmas once and Fourth of July. Fourth of July, the demolition guys got together a big. Seriously? Basically made a big bomb. We nice. didn't like. I mean, it's a bomb, so it's like you stand around and watch it. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we, you could feel the concussion. It was really loud. It was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, so you can. So like all the branches kind of try something. to do something. Like yeah. you're in a, <laughs> you're in the Middle East. They're like making bombs and shit yeah. for Fourth of I mean, July. Like you said, you got. They gave us near beer, which is non-alcoholic beer, oh, which was. Okay. Uh, I mean. Fuck. So you didn't get something? like Odules. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, like we almost got a beer day on my ship. Real if, if we were, yeah, well, we had to be at sea for 50 days straight. The captain was like, all right, once we hit 50 days straight at sea, we'll have a beer day. Day 49, we pulled in the port. Ah, <laughs> we're like, what the? Son of a bitch. We're like, <laughs> skipper, man. And then, Bernie, you were telling us this. You were telling us a crazy story, man, when uh, you were in Okinawa. I mean, not, not really, but like, basically, I got I got hurt. Like, yeah. Maybe a couple weeks before, Emotionally. before New Year's. Yeah. Maybe. It's okay, Maybe. buddy. I'm gonna play um, the music. Being a corpsman, you know, you're not supposed to get hurt when you're with the Marines. That's yeah, like, right. that's like a huge no no. So you wait, so you were with Marine? Yeah, I was with 3rd Battalion, 8th Marines at the time. Oh, nice. We're on UDP. Okay. Um, to Okinawa. Right. And uh, I got hurt a few weeks before New Year's. And right, when you were telling me that your command just tried to, like, railroad, just, like, screw you over. The Marine side did. My yeah. first sergeant was like, well, dog, since you're hurt, I guess you can't go off base and enjoy the festivities. I'm like, that sounds about right. Well, that's, <laughs> that, yeah, that's, gets me pissed. That's but we're overseas. Man. We're in a foreign country, you know, never been there before. Just because you're LOD doesn't mean, you know, it's like... Obviously, you know, they, they think, you know, oh, he's malingering, or like, they don't, always. you know, they're always, oh, you're no malingering, what. no matter what, you, even if you have a fucking bone sticking out of your leg. You run, run, the, run it off, motherfucker. I mean, it is, it is what it is, <laughs> at that point, you yeah, don't right. do much about it, you know, I mean, you're hurt. But he was trying to keep you on base. But still on base, kind of. that'd be like the worst thing you could do for your juniors, especially, you know, away from family, overseas, new place, mm -hmm. never been there before. Yeah. So. Needless to say, my first time decided he wanted to be a subject matter expert <laughs> and be medical. I'm like, okay, you're a first time. I am now medical. We, we always yeah. joke that once you hit E6, like you were, you were a financial expert, <laughs> a psychologist. You, you were an expert in all yeah. matters to give advice about every situation. So yeah, kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. say my 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 medical side, the Navy side hooked it up and talked to him and said, you're not a doctor, so uh, so the Navy hooked you he's up. He's gonna go chill. Yeah, so you got the hookup. That's good, man. We deserve that, especially being overseas away from family. You know, it's like, you can't really explain to people how it feels. It's kind of weird. It's not done through the command did, but one yeah. of the hottest Marine girls dressed up as Mrs. Claus. What? Went around to the different sections, and I'd say that was probably the highlight of the deployment. 
the hottest, one of the hottest oh, girls. She, was, she, she just was, took it out on her. She just was like, oh, I'm gonna do. She ordered the costume, put it on, <laughs> and what? You were saying he was saying how Marines have the he. Wait, someone was saying Marines have the hottest females. Oh. Or yeah, just, you're stationed in Twenty Nine Palms where there's like no females. I mean, <laughs> yeah, we call them desert yetis. All of a sudden, they're tens, you know. <laughs> desert, whatever you can. Get. <laughs> Tundra Wookies is what we call them in Alaska. <laughs> Tundra Wookies. If you're gonna join, wait, wait you're serious. serious. <laughs> Tundra Wookies and Wookies. desert yetis. That's fucking. Yeah, they're real. <laughs> they are. Watch out. <laughs> just for the bus. <laughs> for the food portion of like being deployed, like you have the meals that we get. So Coast Guard, you said you got fed really well. Yeah, we had you know, it was like a oh. Christmas dinner. <laughs> <Yes, dude. laughs> Turkey and like yeah. roast no shit. Beef and yeah, it just mashed potatoes and like <laughs> when we get care packages. They fly Gordon Ramsay we have like and the food <laughs> centers and like uh, you know, people would send us nice. like Cookies and candy. <laughs> yeah. You see the Coast Guard, they take care There's, of you nice. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it wasn't a bad. Right, it's fucked cookies. up though, because, like, all right, on the carrier, so big, right? We have 5,000 of us, and everybody obviously wants the holiday meal, but there's only two galleys on the whole fucking ship that Alyssa can go to. So they bring out all the good food, the carb in the meat, but the line to get to that food, over two hours long, Jesus stretching Christ. across the whole ship, up into the hangar bay, down into the next ladder wells. Two hours, and I couldn't wait in those lines, being my job. I had to just go and get the regular chow, because like we were still like yeah. doing flight operations, and I'm like, that comes number one, launching yeah. the helicopters. Yeah. Like, no, you can't wait two hours. Yeah. You gotta fucking eat the salad bar. Yeah. Like on the holidays. By the time you eat, you have to get them back yeah. in line for lunch. And I'm sure you understand though, being in the desert. When you were in Iraq, you know, it's oh, just yeah. me. Well, I, I was lucky though. I was on Al, in Al Assad, which, if you've been to Iraq, you know that was one of the biggest bases. So we had a good chow oh, okay. hall there, but we were on the flight line. So was it so like a tent city? Is uh, that how they made it, it? The very first time I got there, we stayed in the the same barracks that the Iraqi army used. And what? Then, and then the next time I got there, they actually built. Um, they had tents, and then they actually had like little, I don't know, metal tents. I don't know what the fuck you call them. Not yeah, CV, yeah. But yeah, like like. Upgraded. Yeah, it, it was pretty fucking luxurious for <laughs> luxurious for Iraq. We even uh, yeah. when the officers weren't looking, we dug a, a bunch of trenches from all the different rooms and hooked all our Xboxes up together. Oh shit! And I can't Wild believe party, that. Bro. Yeah, we yeah we were playing. Halo just came out, so we were playing. And, oh, that'd be crazy. Which I Halo mean, you can only parties. do that in the Marines if you're with the wing, and, and that was uh, yeah, it's pretty great. Dude, well yeah. Hey, thanks for uh, being on the show today, hey, everybody. As always, man, no, I don't know if this is going to be launched live before and after episode or its own <laughs> story. There's going to be a lot more videos to come and Fern, Papa Fern, he's, uh, I know you guys have a lot of questions because he is a corpsman and there's so many people in the comments that are want to go corpsman. You know, you had a very high desirable job. So... 110% man. 110% man? <laughs> when I get it. Over man, yeah. <laughs> Over man. So if you guys have... Plethora of things to do. If you guys have questions, make sure to leave questions for Fern for the Corman. Jarhead Josh, as always, any Marine questions? Coast Guard Chris. He now has his own channel. Yeah. His cult questions. followers, the Coasty <laughs> followers, bro. <laughs> so make sure you guys subscribe to Coast Guard Chris. He's almost at a thousand subscribers. So let's get him there. Let's get yeah. him to the 1K. That would be cool. Oh, Alright guys, we'll see you soon. Peace out. Peace. Last night took a L, but tonight I bounce back.